Hey, what's up, Dokkan fam? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have 400 stones. There's a new banner, and you know what that means. Raise the spirit bomb luck, and let's see if we can pull the new Goku youth relatively quickly, because I would like to not burn through all 400 stones in this video chasing him, and you guys know I will, because I'm the king of one more, and if I don't get him, I'm gonna have to keep going. But I would like to save some of those stones for a future live stream that I'll probably do either tomorrow or Friday, where we're gonna go after some of the new events that just came out, and also back to Ultimate Super Battle Road. So make sure you guys subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss that stream. And I know I've been streaming a lot of other games on the channel too, so thank you for those of you who've been checking them out, especially those of you that joined the live stream yesterday for my game, which the beta is out, called Wag Me Defense. It's a tower defense game. We had a lot of fun. I had six other guys streaming with me yesterday. It was really cool, but enough about that. I know why you're here, because you want to see if your boy's luck is still much higher than Tigers and Tunes, which it is. Tiger and Toon, they rainbow a lot of units, but, you know, Toon spends like 8,000 stones, because that's just how long it takes him. But we're going to jump right in here. I'm going to start out with a Goku Black Rift, I mean, uh, Double Xeno, and we're going to pull our boy on pull number one. Here we go. So if you haven't already, you want to summon with me, put those hands in the air, raise that spirit bomb luck, whip out your phones, and let's hit these summons. Dude, you know what? I have not gotten a Super Saiyan God animation in a long time. It just keeps stopping at Super Saiyan 3, and it's getting kind of annoying because the Super Saiyan God animation used to just come all of the time, you know? Well, maybe not all the time, but like, I'd probably see three or four Super Saiyan 3s, and then I'd get a God animation. So I'm like, what's up with that? Maybe they changed it, maybe the ratio is as high. I don't know. But I did see that bar lot, and we 100% don't need him. He's already rainbowed and easy aid to super attack level 15 just from dupes alone. And this Int God Goku, same thing. I probably have like 30 dupes of him just sitting in my box just in case another God unit of Goku comes out. And I want to level up his super attack for free, essentially. Oh, and by the way, the World Tournament ended. Obviously, you guys probably logged in today and got some of your new characters. I didn't even realize that the Master Roshi that we got from the World Tournament was an LR. And I have so many of the, of the medals that I was able to just get him to LR status right away. So that was pretty cool. I think I placed 12th in my area. And then I was like, I don't know, 14,000 and something in the world. I've noticed once you do the initial 30 million points, I think that's where like 90% of players stop now. And so, like, if you can just grind to that 30 million and get all the in-game awards, after that, <laughs> you your rank will go down or, or closer to, like, the top spot relatively fast. Because everybody just stops at their... I think even Tiger has told me he stops as soon as he gets all those awards, right? And it's like, the, the obsessive-compulsive side of me can't stop as soon as I get those rewards because I want to try to place at least top 10 locally. And I managed to get the 12, but I was literally passing out while doing the freaking world tournament, which is why no one streams it, because it's so damn boring. And I had some stuff to do this weekend. I did some car shows. Uh, I, went, I took my car to a car show, and I was there all day. So like, I was doing fun stuff. World tournament weekends, right? It almost just like sucks the life out of you. Because you feel like you have to be sitting there playing the game non-stop all day just to win a good prize. It's not that fun, but, you know, it is what it is, right? I still got, I what, I got I got one Chompa. I, oh, no, you, you should get two Chompas if you got one for the rewards. You get one int Chompa just from the prizes, from, you know, getting points. And then if you place high enough, you got one from those rewards too. So one Chompa and one Master Roshi. Um, I got a lot of really good units out of the guaranteed SSRs. The, the youth Goku in the snowsuit. I think I almost rainbowed him. I think I'm just one away from a rainbow on him. I rainbowed Pan in her orange gi, which was pretty cool. Uh, I did get a couple, uh, strength Goku blacks, which was nice to get those. So I actually pulled some really good units out of those banners, which is great. Because it sucks when all you do is pull SIs. 
out of those. You get like that Muhammad Ali looking guy and the the bear holding the friggin' knife or whatever the hell he's supposed to be. And it's like, uh, oh, what is this? Oh, Hachan! Hey! All right, all right, we're closer. We're closer now to our Goku. Come on, let's see it. Tien. Ugh, Bojack, gross. I've literally maxed out every Bojack that I have super attacks with duplicate Bojacks. Dude, so what was that? That was 200 stones to get Hachan. All right. Whew. Raise it up, guys. Let's get that spirit bomb luck going. Goku Youth, give me something to do later today. I haven't even done uh, his, his matches yet to get his medal, so... Typically, if I'm going to stream a video, I like to do the summons first, get the unit, and then get the medals. That's the order I like to do them. I'm getting a lot of screen cracks today, guys. This is pretty nice. But that's the order I like to do it. How do you guys like to do it? Comment down below. Do you like to get the medals first as a way of, like, putting out positive energy so as soon as you get the unit, you can just Dokkan Awaken it right away? Or do you say, screw it, I'm not even touching... I'm not even touching the metal grind until this unit is in my box. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know how you, how you roll. This summon, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm, pre I'm feeling pretty good about it. Get out of here, Bojack. Give me the Goku Youth. Next unit. Here we go. No. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, there's a Fizz Raditz on here, too. Believe it or not, I still don't have. I would like to get Fizz Raditz. I would be okay with a Fizz Raditz if I didn't get Goku Youth, but obviously I want both. So if I can get both in the same summon, great. Let's make it happen. I got Baby Krillin, but he has too many friends. When Baby Krillin's by himself, usually it's really good. I pull fire on Baby Krillin. But when he's surrounded by too many friends, his, his light kind of dwindles. He, he doesn't shine as brightly, so... This will probably be a shit multi, but the next multi, that'll probably be fire. So let's just see what happens. Little Bojack, Tora. Ugh, gross! <laughs> Those units. The friggin' AGL 18. And then what is it? The the strength 17. When you see those pop up, you're just like. Oh, Frog. <laughs> like, this is a waste of 50 stones. Oh, and a Rildo. Like, dude, come on, bro. Like, nobody... You will never see Rildo on a team unless it's, like, a troll team, right? Like, come on. Let's go. Get out of here. Go. Go. Bye. See ya. Later. Bye-bye. Damn. See? Too many friends, baby crowing. The only thing that can save that is the double Zeno. That's it. Unless a Vegeta's there and you get a, a fusion, which I'm surprised I haven't gotten a fusion. I haven't gotten anything besides screen cracks, actually. I didn't get any good summon animations. No God Gokus. No screen. I mean, no uh, fusion. No Goku Black Rift. No Whis Rewind. No double Xenos. Okay, Cell First Form. Get a grip, bro. Like, get out of here. <laughs> we don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so gross. First form freeze. Oh, come on, go tanks. No way. And that's going to be the GSSI, right? Yeah, thank you so much. All right, guys. We got 50 stones left. Now is the time where I need you to put your phones down if you're dual summoning with me and truly raise that spirit bomb luck. This is our last chance. I knew it was going to go through all 400 stones. Like, it was just, I'm like, it's already been 10 minutes. 400 stones are gone like that. But that's okay. Raise the spirit bomb luck. Let me see those comments down in the comment section below. Even though this video is pre-recorded, it still does help for the following summons that are coming. So just send that energy. Multi-summon. Let's go. I want to see a good animation. It's definitely not a Goku Black Rift. We got the trio. We got an Awari Duh on the table. Can we pull a double Xeno? No, we can't. But... We do have a guaranteed banner unit. So, still good. Still good. Give me a god. Yes! Oh, baby. Here we go. I haven't gotten one in a long time. This could be good, guys. This could be a Goku Youth and Raditz Summon. Ugh. 
I mean, she's on the banner. Oh, you just, we wasted the good Dokkan featured on Videl. Granted, she is a good unit. So is he. We don't need either one of you. Oh, can we get, are you allowed to get three banner units in one summon? Granted, both of those units are great. That Videl unit is very much needed if you haven't done any of the Peppy Gals uh, Super Battle Roads. But, dude, I don't need her. Wow. Oh, come on. Give me something good. Give me a Goku. End it on a Goku. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Please don't be the GSSR. That's, like, literally a kick in the dick. And it is. Wow. What a jerk. Dude, literally getting a Xeno Trunks as your GSSR is like Dokkan saying, all right, bend over, here it comes, Xeno Trunks. These units are absolutely useless, which sucks because like Xeno Trunks is cool. You know, he's got his little jacket and, you know, his, his sword and stuff, but I mean, he's just absolutely terrible. Wait, why is it saying? Oh, yeah, I do have one of him. It's like, why isn't it showing him maxed out? But it is, so. Well, guys, not, not a total waste. We did get Hachan. So let's go here. Oh, I've been working on my... Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but you can now bring your Metal Cooler army to Super Attack level 25 by using the points from uh, Ultimate Clash. So if you haven't done Ultimate Clash, jump in here, get your points, level up your Metal Cooler. Also, fun fact, literally in the last, I don't know, 15 minutes of Petten Battle, which I absolutely despise, by the way, I managed to finally finish my Series 8 collection. I was missing this Goku card right here. Finally came in, I got him, I was so excited, but literally, you know, shafted out of all the top cards on Series 9. Everything else I have, I got zero rainbow units, and I'm missing, I think the rest of these are silver. Um, 305, 300, and 304, so... Oh, it is what it is. Like, these things, like this, the pet and battle stresses me out. Because you literally have seven days to do it, and you can battle every freaking day as much as possible, and you still might not even complete the freaking series, right? That's how it was for me for Series 8. I battled it every single day, both times it came out, and I didn't complete it. And it said 36 of 37, and I'm like, how many times are they going to allow me to get Series 8 cards, right? <laughs> Until they, get, they move to Series 10 and Series 11, so, I'm, all, I'm still on a good cadence here. Series 8 is done. Series 9, we're very close. So, we're doing good. And you know what? Maybe I'll save... I'll save Ultimate Clash for streaming along with Ultimate Super Battle Road. It'll be a day of Ultimates. I think that sounds good. But, in the meantime, I will... I am going to awaken my Hachan. I think I'm saying his name correctly. Wasn't he a strength unit acquired... Maybe he was not a strength unit. I thought he was. You know what? I'll do this. Oh, he's blue. Okay. So I will level him up. Who is this guy? DB Saga category. Not too bad as a lead skill. Raises attack for one turn. Blah, blah, blah. And let's see what his passive skill. Attack and defense plus 80%. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 80%. When there is an ally whose name includes Goku Youth. Attacking in the same turn, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 80% for five turns after receiving attack. So, he's not terrible. Pretty good character, as long as he's on rotation with Goku Youth. So, not so bad. Not so bad. Not, not a bad video. We did pretty good today. Well, guys, be sure to comment down below if you want me to do a live stream tomorrow or Friday. You can tune in, subscribe, tap that notification bell. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.